Okay, my friends, prepare yourself. Everybody knows about the Baalbek stone, that big stone that looks something like this, or something like this. It's a big block of stone. And they're wondering how could they could have moved all these things. Well, I, I'm going to tell you exactly how they moved it, in my opinion. Let's get started. Okay, my friends, I have some good-sized Baalbek stones here, and I have a smaller one here, but they are exactly the same, only one's big and one's small. Now, these are the blocks, and they have a separation in between them. Nobody chisel that out. That's just natural, one right after the other. And this block is going to be moved. They're, they're in the process of moving it. See how this goes over here and over here, and this comes over here and over here? They... they they don't go in a perfect line. I have the exact same thing here, only much smaller. Let me show you. Remember this cut? Remember the blocks? All right, check this out. This I have here in my shop is part of a muscle. Now, you see how this comes over here? These are the blocks right here. The exact same thing as a Baalbek, and the same thing as this. This is from a different piece, but this is the same kind of a block. Now, they square off right there. They break off just as flat as a pancake. And don't forget, you see it comes over here and steps down, and this they're not always in a row. They're sort of in a curve because they attach to the... The tendon attaches to the bone in this particular case. Uh, so don't forget, that's the tendon. This is the glue. That's literally glue, and the bone is right up in here. And let me show you a better shot uh, right here. Okay. This is what we were looking at, is some of these tendons coming right down to here in that little bit of a curve. And they come in. Of course, it's highly magnified. And they just glue right into that the bone. And here's where the bone was. And this is the same, same stone. It's just that the bone is over here. You don't see it. And this is just nothing more than tendon. The chunks of tendon here and there. And this, this is where it's, it's obscured because of the shadow. But right in here is where it was gluing into it. It's right here. So, and this one here ugh, is the same as Palbeck. And I'm going to show you. It has blood in there. And it died laying like this. Now, you'll, I'll put a little water on, you'll see. But this right here is the color of the blood. And it died laying pretty much like this. So whatever bloodyish, colory stuff ran down to the bottom and collected primarily at the bottom. You, see, you might be able to see it there. But when I put a little water on it, it'll be pretty obvious. Now, the other thing is that they all have a scale. You see like that right there? I'm going to put that in a microscope, you'll see. That's what they call the small leucine-rich proteins. It covers these tendons, and they can pull in and out, sliding through that Slurpee. And that's the Slurpee that was between the Baalbek stones. That's why they have that. There's a, like a, a, a layer that slides. They have to be able to slide against them. All of this slides against itself. And there's a million, zillion layers of muscle fibers. They're all over the place. And up here is where the tendon is. All right, I put a little water on there. You might be able to see that. You see the color? It's kind of shiny. All right, maybe that's better. Right up there is where the top of the red stops. And it was laying down like this, and all the red came down this way. All right, and you can, now you can see the layer of Slurpee that runs around here, too. Maybe that made it a little better to see, but anyway, this is this is the Slurpee, and it breaks off here and there. There's a piece that's broken off. I'll put it in a microscope over here. I'm gonna take a look at it. Hold on. All right, this is that area that was broken off, and right down in here is where the bloody stuff is in the tendon itself. This is the coating. I call it a Slurpee, small leucine-rich proteins. You see all these little fibers? That's what you're going to find in every dense fascia. Dense fascia coats your lungs, you know, it, things that have to expand and move around and get pulled and stretched. That's your dense fascias like this. And you can see, you know, it's not, it's, it's thick. 
and this is, this is on all tendons, and there's tendons everywhere, and there's giant ones like like Devil's Tower. That's nothing but tendons. I'll show you this exact same stuff. <laughs> See, yeah, check that out. That's the blood. That's where the tendon is itself. This is the fiber that's over the top of it. This is the leucine-rich proteins. Now, I have that here in the microscope, right next to a lung. And the lung has the exact same the same stuff. It's exactly the same. It's identical. No difference. And this has got blood coming out of it all over the place, too. I, don't know, I hope you can see that. Sometimes a little hard to see. But anyway, that's, that is the same fabric as is on this. Same stuff. All right. And underneath is the bloody textured stuff. And underneath this one is the bloody stuff. Now, Baalbek is like this. It's this huge block. It's just like this. And this has some blood coming out of it here. They are serviced with blood, just like I showed you. This one has the blood running out of it, only it, it didn't run out and, and leave holes. It's just sort of... Because I just broke that off. That was together here. Now, that's the Baalbek stone. These things were gigantic. They were absolutely beyond anybody's belief. But that is nothing more than this broken right away from the glue. That's all it is. Exact same thing. And this is in my shop. I, I have this right here. It's part of this rock right here. And these are all muscle fibers. And this piece right here, from there to there, which is where the bone is, is the tendon. There's no, no, no blood in here to speak of. The tendons have almost no blood. Then you get into the muscle and it gets, it's very fibrous and then it gets bloody. And that's where all you need all that red blood for, to service that. All right, so don't forget, that's the Baalbek stone, or one of them right there. And there's the Slurpee. There's, they cover the whole thing. Usually it's slur it falls right off, just like here. Uh, Devil's Tower. Here, right here, see? It's the same stuff. That's This is the, the fibers. Those are tendon fibers. They're right there. It's the exact same thing as this. No difference. Only this is is laying down this way, sticking straight up. So the Slurpees have slid down and sort of not laying flat like this. They slid down. All right, and see how they're broken off here, some chunks of them? It's just, they're, just, they're just a slide so that the, the tendons can slide up and down. That's a heel. That's an Achilles heel, an Achilles tendon. It goes up like this, and there's blood all over the place. They say, oh, where's all the blood? Well, it's everywhere. <laughs> it's right there. It's just it eroded away. And they, there's, they have what they call an abrupt transition where it breaks from the top to the bottom. I mean, flat across, just as flat as a pancake. And then it leaves that wrinkle zone. Where is it right here? You see, that's the wrinkle zone. It goes snap, and it goes bang. Any, any doctor understands this. It's not, this is not, there's, there's no genius level work here. Well, this is what they are. There's one right after the other. And they were taking them off and building things with them. So they had to have some giant people. I think they still had very, very, very large people there. And they, as this stuff started to dry out, they would have worked it and cut it and carved it. Because it was, it was moist at one time, right after the flood, obviously. And it was not that long ago, according to Velikovsky. All right, I guess that's enough of this for today, but they have no idea. They say ancient pre-flood megastructure scientists can't explain. It goes on they have, because they can't see the biology. Stone characterized by flat surfaces, right angles, and sharp corners. It's not stone. Where's this stone now? It is tendon when it was still alive. Okay, let's wrap this up. This right here is muscle. Like I showed you before, only this is eroded more. And every one of these breaks is what's called a sarcomere. These are blocks. I'll show you in a second. This right here is the artery. And it has all of the little arterial vessels going in to service this muscle. It takes a ton of blood to service muscle. And the one right above is the vein. And that brings the blood back up after it gets used. The artery flushes it down and the vein brings it back. And this is a muscle sarcomere. And here's what they look like 
right here. It's exactly the same thing. This is eroded away. It dried out and just went away. So it left the cracks between the blocks of muscle sarcomeres. All right, now, I don't think I need to show you much more today, but I do know about these things. I understand all about the, the stones everywhere around the world. Basically now I understand all of the things that nobody understands. Ancient pre-flood megastructure scientists can't explain. I can explain it. Let's talk. I can explain it. I know exactly what that is.